Snyder High School, the site for Wednesday's midweek meet between Snyder, Bishop Dwenger, and Southside. First meet of the season for both the Panthers and the Saints. And even though the Saints swept the evening. I felt completely like the first meet of the season. Uh, we didn't have an indoor season this year. And a lot of our kids really have been kind of training for track since December. Not having last season, um, it's, been, it's been a while since we've been able to get out on the track. And so it was good to uh, put down some solid times for the first meet of the year. I'd say that our training was excellent the past few months. And so uh, that was really on display today. We wanted to race some of our kids against each other in, in those relays. Speaking of relays, Dwenger won five as a whole. Both the boys four by four and four by eight in all three of the girls' relays. Nora Steele, one of the girls who stole the show for the Saints, she won the 800 and was a part of some of those relay wins. Emma Doyle's not just a gymnast, folks. She won the 100-meter dash and the long jump, not to mention she finished second in the 200-meter dash to teammate Katie Parent, who won that event. To round things out, Elise Hewn won in the pole vault, Taylor Aislidge had the highest high jump, and Dwanger overall had 85 points to win the meet. For the boys, Jack Storrs won the 110 high hurdles, Corbin Till took the 400 meter, Pablo Suter won the 800 meter, Liam Rowe won the mile and the two mile, the last of which might have been the Saints' best race all night. I was pleasantly surprised by, by some of the finishes, uh, especially in the two mile, you know, going one, two, three in that race. Between those wins on the track and Jackson Gray and discus throw dub, the Saints scored 68 points from their boys to also win the meet. On the Snyder side of things, Q Turner swept the hurdle events with a pair of wins in the 100 high hurdles and 300 low hurdles. Nisha Anderson won a pair of field events, the shot put and the discus. And Snyder's girls earned 41 points to narrowly nab a second place spot. Oppositely, Traverius Easley Jones won the 100 meter dash and the Easley Jones anchored 4x100 relay team also earned first on the night. Headlined by those two finishes, Snyder snuck into second place with 43 points. Shining for Southside, Lauren Waldo won herself the mile run, Jackie Embry set the bar in the two mile, and Ganesha White finished first in the 400 meter dash. All that helped the girls to reach 40 points. As for the Archer boys, Devontae Williams won the long jump. Tory Jones toasted his foes in the 200. Donovan Stanley won the 300 hurdles. And Keaton Grider won the shot put event, putting the whole squad at 42 points on the meet. Up next, each of these teams has a different invitational this weekend. Southside will run in the Northside Relay starting on Friday night. Snyder is headed to the Marion Relays. And Dwenger hopes the upcoming IPT relays see the Saints sustain and even exceed Wednesday's success in their second meet. I think they need to use this just kind of as a springboard. You know, a little taste of success is gonna, you know, make them want some more. I have big goals this season, and I would say I'm very pleased, but not satisfied. This has been Blake Baker for Summit City Sports.